Hey guys, I'm Nagadachan, and welcome to my reaction for A Certain Magical Index Season 3, Episode 17. Uh, crazy things are happening. Um, many groups, many characters. But I think at the end of the previous episode, uh, the other Aztecs appeared and killed that one dude who Accelerator's group was going after him. But I don't know if they are like on our side. They might have the same objective, like doing something with these people, but it might not be like exactly the same what we want. We needed some information, didn't we? So maybe the fact that he's dead is not actually really good. That could be a possibility. Dependable what they want. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, so what the other characters are doing. Yeah, so I'm just going to start it, starting it right now. Okay, this is pretty nice looking place. Despite it's a little destroyed. Mm. And through him. Okay. <laughs> so they're not friends. Meanwhile, all of this is happening. We're going for this, so they're not on our side. Great. Okay, you made a hall in the building. Oh, the music is getting crazy. Yeah. No. So we need to take this guy out. Okay, I must say... Whoever is doing soundtrack for this anime is good. I love that this music fits it. And I like it's different. Oh yeah, and this is happening also. Because this kind of music very rarely... Like, it needs to be exactly in my taste, this kind of music, which... is hard. But this anime is doing it where? Well. Oh yeah, and this is happening. I mean, good, I guess. But he sounds very confident, so be careful. Dragon, okay. Oh, smart. Very smart. Oh, he learned from that. Oh. Yeah, but smart. I was like, I've heard this and that, so I'm going to try this, but hmm, okay, I need experience, like experience, personal one. Yeah, are we going to talk? Uh, what evil are you talking about? You call him evil? You call him evil? You've seen what was done to him by other people? He's not 
Fuck. <laughs> I was about to say he's not dying here, but... Fuck. Hmm. Okay, we saw him modifying... ...that. You do not know anything about him and people which are doing a lot of shitty things to other people. Okay. I mean, give her a hero shield. Oh. Moo. Or was it just a trick? Oh, damn. There are so many battles happening in one. Okay, he's actually very pretty. Ah, this is a problem. That is not a good thing. Oh. Ouch. You don't seem to be doing well. Like you are doing? Oh. 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 <laughs> I don't think you're going back from that. There is a hole in your whole stomach, sir. I mean, whole body. Oh. Yeah. Okay, I guess we were smarter than you. Which is a good thing. Did he repel it? Hmm. Smart. Hmm. I mean, he's smart. Yeah, you don't have a right to be talking shit to me. Hmm, that would be smart, yeah. Seems like. Oh, well, hello there, people. Yeah, I don't think you can deal with this. After you? Yeah, what? What do you mean by that? I don't think you can even possibly in any kind of way fight them. Uh. Okay. Uh, thank you for your speeching, talking. Ah, oh, goddamn off! What kind of plan? What do you mean by that? Should have been. And you don't like that because he's a wild card? Too much of a wild card? Hmm. Yeah. 
he I guess cannot guess what he will do. Probably if, if you are really trying that hard to kill him, I would say yes. <laughs> I'm still alive. He's very beautiful. The Aztec dude. Yeah, we need. Okay. We need his hand first. Hmm. Elaborate. Oh, damn. Um, uh, okay. Oh, uh, well, okay. He was. Um, okay. I don't think this is good. <laughs> Another frag of nature appeared. Yeah, run. Run, boy and girl. Uh, yeah, she's probably in the best condition. Oh, damn it. But he works so hard to make you save you and make you safe. Yeah, I don't think he's going to give up. Yeah, we we would need someone to help us probably in this situation. No, we done so much for you. Is there something we can do? Well, in normal world, I'm not really sure this would work. Okay. They're here. It seems like someone truly came, but... about that maybe the bigger fish came well that's a new one yeah maybe you should have just run away Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh... Mm hmm. Hmm. Okay, interesting. We just don't want to be messed with. Like, can you leave us? Do you really need to censor things? Uh. 
Oh, that doesn't sound good. You should not be triggering him. <laughs> Yeah, I don't care what the fuck are you representing. You are going the answer. But I'm not really sure how this stuff works. Yep. You were triggered too hard, Accelerator. Come on, use your brain. What? Uh huh. Oh. He is really going to fight him. Well, are ya we? The music is getting crazier. I mean, he really cares about her. He has been through some, but I don't think this is the end. Now, oh, so if we are going to do something about that... I don't think he cares much. Okay, it disappeared. For now, I guess. Okay, the thing. Now are we running? We are running. I don't know, something creepy about her right now. I don't know what happened to her, but I want to be really, really far away. God damn you, bitch. Oh, she doesn't like that. She wants him to be safe, so... No, we're not obliged to do whatever you want to do. No. Throw it away. You're not going to listen to her. Don't do things the way she wants to. Don't. Oh. Risky, but... At least he got her away from her. She is away from your reach for now. I guess I'm going to need to kill you more times. I like how... Oh, serious he got. Crazy. I mean, whatever, whatever means works, we are going to use them, so... I, I don't give a shit. <laughs> because sometimes you need to use your brain to be better than... Win the battle. I don't care how, with what means. Uh, don't get too cheery. Yes, seems like. Is she a zombie? I would not be surprised. Oh wow, she propelled herself smart. Test chamber. <laughs> That's creepy.
maybe if we would fight against them. Oh, I guess she doesn't give a fuck. Maybe she likes it. The music. I really love this music. No. Oh. I mean, you place him right in the safe, safe place, I guess. It was like, I guess I'm betting my life on this. Hmm. Apparently. Yeah, I would not think it's going to be easy with him. He's some kind of weird stuff. Is there really nothing we can do? Lovely. Okay. I would move away from this place if she would somehow be able to be still alive, you know? Yeah, we probably should go away. I've been saying it, just move. What are you seeing now? I mean, yeah, dependable if the things they are told are not the best things. I'm sorry, I'm going a little bit back. Yeah, about here. So starting again right now. Okay. Where are you going with this? Okay, where are you going with this? Yo. Oh. <laughs> mm, that makes sense. They are determined. I'm not surprised. I mean, you were presented like that. Hmm. Okay. Oh. Islands of independent nations. Okay. Are you helping us? I mean, he seems kind of okay, it's just he cannot do things on his own. Seems like he was talking about wires, which is controlling him. He's just some kind of weird angel-like being. Okay, so they stole a plane. Oh! Oh, that's... Uh... Okay, that's actually kind of sweet. I did not expect them to move so fast to this part, but like they've been through a lot of shit. He saved her, she helped him, enhanced emotions. When you've been through a lot of shit, you're like, I mean, this man cares about me. I guess I'm going to stick with him. <laughs> okay, I guess we are in Russia, given how cold it looks. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> which is, hey, stop this.
There are many other cold places. It's not just Russia, I know. <laughs> but like, we've been talking about going there, so like, what else it could be? Also, why are we just in the middle of places which is just snow? Why are we walking through a place like this? Can we just like hop on a train or a car or bus or something? Probably train would be the best. Do we do we need to travel like this? <laughs> I don't know if I would want to travel through such a cold time and place just like that. But maybe there is more to that. Okay, so again, a lot of things happen in this episode. Wow. So, that Aztec dude was not a friend. He was trying to kill the dude from our group. But in the end, he was ma he managed to kind of uh, outsmart him and kill him. Yeah, I hope he's not going back from that hall. Please. <laughs> We've seen some crazy coming back from situations which seem like death. And I'm not not for it, please. Especially with Mugi. No, 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 no. No, I hope she's disintegrated, please. <laughs> Tell me she's not coming back. <laughs> uh, that was really cool. I hope that other girl, which was Aztec girl, which was with the dude, is okay. Because it seems like he was using her. Yeah, he seems like a colossal douchebag. Then, uh, stuff we were dealing with Accelerator and Baby Misaka of Last Order. And there this, like, weird angelic being happened, appeared. Okay. It's kind of sad if it doesn't, like... I mean, it seems to have its own consciousness, right? And it would like to do their own stuff, but it can't. Because somehow it's... Uh, I mean, it, it can talk whatever they want. Like, whatever he wants to say. It... I don't know, angels are supposed to be nor woman nor man. I don't know. <laughs> so it it has free mind, right? It can say whatever it wants. But it cannot move the way it wants. Because um, he was saying something about virus and his wings moving on his own. So I guess he's being used by Alistair as his name. I guess... I mean, that would be kind of smart, right? But even though he can restrict his movements, he cannot restrict his mind. So he was helping Accelerator because it seems uh, Misaka, baby Misaka, is in danger. <sighs> God damn it. So many things happening. I would need more details, but it was like really cool. Really cool. Like, what I do really like about this show is the characters, most of the times, most of times, are using their brain. Like, they're forming strategies, uh, they're trying to fight smartly, right? They're just not doing things for doing them. And I like that because Hamazura, is his name, like, he's not strong so far from what we've seen. But he was using his brain to find Mugino, who is, like, so much stronger. And I love that. I freaking love that. Like, give me more of these, please. Yeah, that's what I love about this show a lot. Despite there are some crazy powers and magic, at least people are using their brains when they're fighting. <laughs> like, yeah, there might be some dumb moments here and there, but, like, the amount of smart brains kinda outweighs it. Yeah, so I'm very happy about that, and I hope, like, both of them would be a couple, because, like, like I said, a lot of things happen between them, and it, it's just very cute, right? I hope they will be a couple. Please, let it happen. This needs to be official, <laughs> because they're so sweet. He really cared about her, and I was like, oh, that's very cute. But, like, usually in this kind of shows, even if that is happening, you're like, ah, they're never going to go together because whatever reasons, right? And I was like, it was very wholesome that he cared so much about her. 
So like if there is going to be some kind of relationship, I would be very, very happy. Please let it happen. Let it happen. <laughs> let it happen. Right? Like I would be very happy for them because the girl needs someone who would really care about her given that she's been through something. Yeah, and Hamazura, I guess is his name, maybe something different, really cares about her. I mean, he was fighting for her, right? He almost lost his life for her, so he did not abandon her. Yeah, like, girls stick to that guy. He might not be the strongest in the universe, but he will care for you and he will try everything for you to be alive. Yeah, like, again, everything is kind of going together. So I wonder what will come out of this. And I kind of do really like that Alistair is using Accelerator and Toma as check pieces. Because he's like, oh yeah, I can use them. And I guess he can predict what they're going to do, right? So it's not really that hard for him to kind of move them on his little checkboard <laughs> but like with Hamazura I guess he just doesn't want him to be involved because maybe he is just hard to read because like he doesn't have any kind of significant powers right so like he can move in very interesting directions and that's probably very hard to anticipate right like how could you expect him winning over Mugina twice, goddammit? Right? Yeah, he is kind of chaotic, chaotic force. <laughs> so that's why he's like, kill him on sight, please. I don't want him near anything. Okay, I like that he's getting more importance. I do really like that. Like I said, I like that he feels like the most grounded character. Seriously, I would need some time to absorb everything which has happened because again So many things are happening. So many things are being thrown at me. I probably interpreted a few things wrongly, but I guess in a light novel there would be more details so I could I could kind of like get all that information in a swallowable pace I guess I would be able to reread things easily and, you know, kind of be able to absorb all the informations better. I am so excited. <laughs> yeah, I do really like the world and the characters and the world building and the stuff which is happening and stuff which you are doing with the characters and like everything. I do really like it. I'm so glad I started watching this. Like, thanks for the recommendation. <laughs> because not only the story and war building is good, but like, I like the characters. <laughs> and it's because I had a time to be with them. Yeah, and kind of get to know them, despite a few things maybe a little faster. Yeah. Especially the second season of Index and the first season of Royal Gun were really, really good. <laughs> yeah, I think these two cemented my absolute love for the Zanaba. And I can't really wait for a light novel. Oh my. <laughs> so I'm going to give this episode 7.5 out of 10. Uh, like, I wish this would be like maybe three episodes. <laughs> like, I know people do not like when things are too slow. But, like, the amount of things which were happening in this was a lot for one episode. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Was a lot, lot. Also, the soundtrack in this. Like, again, amazing. Every time the action or cool things are happening, I do love the soundtrack in this anime. It's just so specific, right? And like I said, this genre of music, I'm kind of like... I need a specific kind of things and this is exactly hitting that kind of specific things in the genre that are having this soundtrack in. Yeah, I just love the soundtrack. It just fits this anime so much. Yeah, 
I like it. It fits it so, so well. Seriously, I hope there would be like more anime, more index and more railgun. I know it's been like a few years since the last anime from like the whole franchise. I mean, when was the last railgun happening? 18 or 19? I'm not exactly sure, which is not that much years. Because like, I, I, I think between some of the seasons there was like a huge gap. So it, it's still like probable. Especially now when like they are uh, looking at like very old anime and doing remakes or redoing it or just making sudden continuation right after who knows how many years. <laughs> so I would really love it. Yeah, I would really love it. So is this whole season, the third season, is it like the whole or the end? Well, the whole, the all three seasons of Index. Are they like about the whole first book of Index series? Because I thought it's not possible to like fit uh, it in 26 episodes because there's like a lot. Not a whole book. The whole first season of the novels? <laughs> there are like three seasons, I know about it. Or stories, I don't know how I'm supposed to call it. <laughs> It doesn't work like normal books when you have like like seven books, for example, in Harry Potter and there's like a whole story, right? But like this has one story, who knows how many books, 20 or something. But it's still not end of story because there is a continuation story which has like 20 books. So I don't know how I'm supposed to call it. Like it all works in a weird way. <laughs> so like we still have like a lot of actually stuff happening so and i would really love it like this series can go on for a very long time i assume given that there is more details in light novels and i love how they're animating it i love the visuals i really love how they were doing this anime even though i haven't read light novels yet so i guess that's all goodbye and see you next time